Okay, this is Dexter 754, and we're back with Duke Nukem Total Meltdown TC, Episode 3, Level 6, Rabbit Transit. And yes, this is indeed the uh, song MP3 version of, or MP3 uh, song of Rabbit. Uh, Jesus Christ, it's the Atomic Edition Level 5 song, I think. Uh, what was the name of that map? Uh, but anyway, it's that map with the uh, uh, Terminator reference. Because I don't play Atomic Edition myself too much. Uh, well, of course I do play Atomic Edition because it's like the, it's the only official Duke 3D version these days. But I don't play that episode 4. Press this one and you'll get night vision goggles. But be careful, you might get squished. So yeah, we do get some pickups around here. So we better be careful. Jesus Christ. So painful. Yeah, but I made it more painful than I... Did it more painful for myself than <laughs> I probably needed to. But anyway, uh, this is a cool little trick. I think it's one of those... A uh, little bit of like that same effect that you have... Uh, on episode 4 level 2 on Atomic Edition, I think it's Duke Burger. It uses the same little <laughs> thing, so nice little design trick. Uh, I I don't think I've ever used that effect in any of my own maps, but yeah, here we do have the first secret of the map with a Duke in it and looping sounds to Duke Nukem Total Meltdown style. <laughs> here we go again. Okay. Because uh, when you would be playing on PlayStation, pausing the game would, you know, help that sound go away. And here we do have secret number two. But we do get two sentry drones, so... Yeah. Uh, huh. So, yeah, we do have trick mines here, so... Better to take care of them. And yes... This is the reason where this map gets its name from. So we got a little bit of a subway thing going on around here. God damn it, why that looping sound won't go away? Um, oh yeah, there's that one secret. Whoops. Secret number three. And we do have a devastator inside this little small thing. And uh, you kind of like want to know where those trains are going, so you want to keep an eye on things. Because, uh, needless to say, if you get uh, hit by those trains, that's going to be very bad for your health. And yes, tons of laser trip mines. Um... Thanks. And yeah, here we do have the blue key. And if you don't have a jetpack like I did, you have to take uh, uh, one of those uh, subways and then you have to jump out of the window to this little bit of a platform thing. And yeah, this is also a very short map, so... Uh, I want to wait for that second train because it has RPG in it. There we go. So now we have the blue key, so let's use it right here. But be careful because we got a pickup station. <laughs> yeah. And here we do have secret number four with RPG rounds. Uh, this moment is usually when I turn on the night vision goggles. Um, let's take care of these octobrains. And this is where you want to be careful. Uh, so what I usually do is that I make a quick shot like that. And because there is a battle lord... Oh yeah, and there was one commander too. Let's turn on the night vision goggles just to be safe. And here we do have the red key. But this is the way you want to handle the situation. Um, I'm going to talk about more of that in a minute. but. 
In the meanwhile, we're going to take this uh, secret number four, and we do get a, a spawning commander, so let's shrink him for good. Press this little thing, and you will get a... This is not really a secret, but it does have a Devastator in it. So this map actually has two Devastator in it. Two Devastator weapons in it. But the reason you want to do this uh, the way that I did, that you shoot here first, and then that wall blows open, and then you fire a couple of RPG shots over there. The reason you want to do this that way is this. Because... Um, you probably noticed that um, there used to be a mini battle lord around here. And to get like uh, almost boxed in by two mini battle lords uh, in such a small space, it's never a good thing. So you want to avoid that. But we do have uh, all of the keys. And uh, let me think. Uh, could there be a like. Yeah, uh, I don't think so. I don't think this map has anything else. But, so yeah, now we must take the red door and leave this. God. Well, you guys can do your thing there, so I don't care because there is a mini battle lord around the corner. So better be careful. And also, uh, because... Uh, those commanders aren't exactly very uh, cooperative, I think. Ah, uh, man, I was kind of hoping that that mini battle lord could have... Um, blown up that crack for me. Could you do it? No, he won't. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's not going the way I hope. God. Impressive! He was shooting me through the wall. Yeah, just like that. What the hell was that? I mean, yeah, I know that this is Duke Nukem Toll Meltdown, but still, he was shooting me through the friggin' wall. But yeah, um, anyway, this is a little bit of a backtrack thing. This is not really a secret. But it allows you to get to the last secret of the map, which is right here. Cool. So yeah, that is the last secret of the map. And this uh, kind of like a little bit of a bookshelf, it can be lowered by walking on that. So let's get out of here. Oh yeah, and we still do have these guys to be dealt with. Yeah. That is everything. Not too long map again. <laughs> oh man, I I mean, yeah. What is there to say of of the behavior of this game? But yeah, that is episode three, level six, Rabbit Transit. Uh, Rabbit Transit of not too long of a map, but I would say that this is definitely much more difficult than any of the maps before it, or actually the overall difficulty is going to be depending on how you handle this map. Because uh, there is very good, a very good chance that uh, once uh, you actually get the red key and you don't know that there's that uh, spawning mini battle lord behind your back, and then there's like the next one is right on your left side, on, on the left side of the red key, so that is usually when things go really badly wrong, so... So, there is a good chance for you to get killed. And of course then there's that one last mini ba battle lord at the, um, you know, guarding the final room. 
and it's funny how like mini battles are placed in this map uh, in such fashion that they're all like um, they're all like you know around the corner so it's like if you don't know that they are there there is a very good chance for you to get killed so but yeah uh, one of those things that I forgot to mention about was I, actually I did mention it but uh, yeah the song this map uses on Duke Nukem Tunnel Meltdown is the MP3 version uh, or Mark, Mark Knight's uh, version of uh, Lemon Chill, which would be the, uh, it would be one of the songs that it plays on uh, episode 4, uh, The Birth, uh, level 5. I don't remember the name of that. But anyway, um, <clears throat> and also Rapid Transit, um, you got those trains going there, so get run over by those trains <laughs> and you die. And not to mention that if you don't have a jet back, this map is going to be very difficult. Because you have to make that jump for the blue key, and you constantly like have to be aware of where those uh, subways are going, so... Lots of things, so it's it's not only the monsters, and also you can see the stat screen. We have only like 46 monsters in this one. And it's a classic example that you don't really have to have too many monsters in this map to make it difficult. And I think Rapid Transit is one of the greatest examples of having a good deal of difficulty without, like, super many monsters in it. But anyway, I think that's everything about Rapid Transit, and we're gonna move on to Episode 3, Level 7, Fahrenheit. Yeah, <laughs> I love this. Fahrenheit is a great map. And yes, if you pay attention, you can hear a very familiar song in this one. But yeah, that's going to be the matter of the next video, so yeah, thanks for watching, and see you.